Dear brother, I note what you say concerning the source of the Mississippi. You wish to know who was the first person who went to the source. For the information of the historical society, I will state to you that H.R. Schoolcraft is in error and that he was not the first person who made the discovery of the source of the Mississippi. On the trail, William Morrison, I did go. Hating for to the winter snow and the springtime thaw. I from back enough. Things I saw Headed up Mississippi from Leechley Vine furs and pelts from the trappers along the way Always heard the little Englishman was honest And fair and could be trusted any day Red Cedar Lake and cross lake on the way to Lackland Beach. Stay the course, heed the shore, and I the source of the great river. Met schoolcraft on the shores of Gitchigumi in the company of a man named Lewis Cass. William told him not to cross the bog, go below it. Craft found his river at long last. Blue craft and his river at long last. On the trail, William Morrison, I did go. 1840, through the winter snow. And the springtime thaw, I from back and on. Oh, the things I saw This will explain to you that I visited a Tasca Lake, then called Elk Lake, in 1803 and 4, in five small streams that empty into the lake that are short and soon lose themselves in the swamp. Those streams I have noted before no white man can claim the discovery of, for I was the first that saw and examined its shores. Yours, William Morrison. <laughs> 